Hello viewers, Chief here. Welcome and welcome to any new subscribers. Today we're going to be taste testing this energy drink from the Monster line and today's flavour is Ultra Rosa. Or Rosé, I suppose it's a play on words there. Uh, what we usually use for any new subscribers for your benefit, we usually use a standard 500ml glass, which is this glass here. It's had a few cans of drink go through it in its time. And I generally try to use a one cubic inch ice cube, depending on how it comes out of the ice tray. But that's more or less the standard cube that I use for these tests. Very interesting badging on the can from Monster. They always have interesting flavours and combinations and different patterns on the can. I'll do some uh, dedicated screenshots, but it's probably difficult to see from this angle. But the can itself, it's not shrink wrapped. It's actually printed on the can and it's part of the aluminium as it'll raise dimples on there and it gives you a bit of grip when the can's wet. I don't think it's designed to give you grip because every can in the world would have that. I think it's just part of a marketing technique for this. Uh, the other thing I found difficult was trying to take screenshots of the information on the can because of the colour of the ink and the type of uh, the colour that we have on the can. They're not really compatible to do close-ups or long shots. It's very difficult to get um, a good shot of those stats, but I'll do the best I can and put the best shot I can uh, with the um, the blurb. Now this one's got sh zero sugar in this can, so it's a sugar-free version, so that's not too bad. And I think it's very interesting that this can has those raised dimples, because the first thing I did when I picked it up, I wasn't aware of it. It reminded me of, first off, getting a good grip, but it's like a sheet of, say, 125 or 150 grit sandpaper so if you've got a piece of sandpaper those of you that know what grit means which is the amount of particles per square inch basically and that's what it would feel like so if you wrap some sandpaper around the can that will give you a little bit of an idea that's just a smaller side uh, as usual with the uh, monster line of drinks they have the little logo on the ring pull tab and this can's 500 ml so let's open this one up and, and see how we go I don't know what flavour that would be, a uh, rosé flavoured, um, could be anything, could be close to wine, or, or rose up flavoured, I should uh, clarify. Could be anything, oh, I'm guessing it's something along the lines of berry. So let's open this up and have, uh, see how we go. I'm stumbling my words here today. Now, this can hasn't been in the fridge, which is the only downside. I don't know if that will make any difference to the pressure shift, but let's have a listen to the elk's test. It was pretty tame there. There was no spits on the top of the can, so that's not a good sign of heavy carbonation. But this can's only been opened about 10 seconds. Let's see if we can pick up any aroma from there. This monster. Froza Rosa flavour. Oh. Very mango or papaya smell. Yeah, very tropical smell. Maybe a little bit of pineapple and grapefruit in there. It does smell a little bit like grapefruit. Could be a bit of all three. Let's pour this out and see how we go. Well, it's got that very light pink colour. Looks a bit like rose hip water. Very pretty indeed. It matches the labelling on the can somewhat. And just looking at the glass there, it seems to be that the colour concentration seems to be on the bottom and it's a bit lighter on the top. I'll just give it a bit of a swirl. I don't know if that's because it's not mixed correctly how it is. Yeah, it reminds me of putting cordial in a glass of water and the cordial tends to coagulate in the bottom and then when you swish it around a bit then it dilutes and becomes uniform. The colour looks a bit thicker on the bottom, a bit denser there, but this might, might, might be my imagination. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. So there we have it. Monster Ultra Rosa flavour. Let's have a smell, see what we can pick up. Yeah, it's definitely very tropical. I'd say it's closer to papaya than mango. And there might be a bit of pineapple and grapefruit in there. So those first three that I mentioned earlier, sounds like it's pretty spot on. Let's have a little taste and see how we go. I'll rotate that glass because it's been touching my nose. I don't want to be sniffing, uh, sipping that. Mm. Very, very sweet. I don't think it has any real fruit juice in there, but I'll get that tropical fruit punch feel about it. Uh, there must be something in there along the lines of a bit of pineapple juice, maybe a bit of uh, citrus with a bit of lemon or orange. There's certainly something like papaya or mango in there. Very, very sweet, very, very tropical. Could even possibly be a bit, little, little bit of dragon fruit in there. 
Now I've got a slight hint of that. It, it reminds me of dragon fruit. It wouldn't surprise me if it's in there. I suppose with a lot of these flavors for these lines of energy drinks, the recipes are very closely guarded secret, but they give you a bit of a hint. They say the taste of summer, the taste of winter, or something to keep you all fired up, which would indicate it's got something that's a little bit spicy in there. But this one feels like it's a bit of a tropical mix. All in all, it's not a bad little flavor. Very interesting can, nice grip on there. The only downside to it, the criticism I have, it's very hard to read the stats on the can here. I don't know if we can get any focus from there, but the color match between the ink and the stats on there is not good. Maybe if they printed it in white, it might have stood out a little bit better, but I suppose uh, when these things are manufactured and they're making uh, millions of cans at a time, they do it at the cheapest possible cost. But there you have it. Monster Ultra. It's not a bad taste at all. It's a flavour which is a bit hit and miss for me. I'd have to be in the mood for this. I wouldn't go out and buy it and drink it all the time. I just have to feel like something like this, something tropical. And I'll probably only drink it in the uh, warmer or the, or the summer months here in my uh, hemisphere. But all in all, it's not a bad drink at all. Now, for the Monster line, I always expect big things because they have a lot of flavours. And I think they've delivered today. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this one 7 out of 10. I would buy it again in my top tier of drinks, but if there was other flavours available which I prefer, I'd lean towards those first. But it's not too bad at all. If you are curious and you do see it, get yourself a can and see how you go for yourself. If you would like to leave a comment, good, bad or otherwise, I'll always welcome those. And if you have any suggestions for flavours or brands that you'd like me to test, I'm more than happy to do it for you guys. I've got a few subscribers sending in bits and pieces, so we'll be giving them a plug when uh, we get round to doing them. I've got a box of a few hundred cans to get through yet, so I've got a lot of work to do. I thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next test.